Good morning, grandkids. Today I'm going to do something different. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I bought me some new tops, and uh, I wanted to show you what all I got. I got so tired of wearing the same few tops whenever I do a vlog, <laughs> so I went out and bought me some new ones. And uh, then my daughter-in-law gave me two or three that she didn't wear anymore, and uh, so I'll show you them too. So I think I'll raise my desk up so that I can just stand up. Get my chair out of the way. Maybe that's high enough. Is that high? Yeah. Of course, I'll call this a fashion show, but I won't be able to try all the tops on, so I'm just going to be holding them up and showing them. Let me see if I got my mic raised up. Okay, yeah. All right. This one is a plaid flannel shirt that I thought would be nice and warm to sit here and uh, sit here at my computer and keep me warm because I'm always cold. So that's that's my flannel shirt. And of course it's red and black. Let me see how I'm going to redo these. They're on that side, I guess. And this is a knit top with a turtleneck because I'm always cold. This is just a plain t-shirt top. Turtleneck. Long sleeve. You like this color? I like it. And I bought two of these, two different colors, because I really, really like the neck. Look how it comes up around here. But it has a drawstring in it. I don't know. I could turn it down like this and have that hang in there. But when I put it on, if it's too loose up around here, I can tighten this. And tie it in a bow. This is long sleeved. It's got a it's got a neat uh, stitching down the center of it. And the sleeves are nice and long on it because I really have like an inch or so extra long arms and every time I buy something long sleeved it doesn't really actually fit me because it looks like a kid that's outgrown their top. <laughs> Here's the pink one like that one. These are really heavy too. Can you see the knit? Usually, usually the sleeves are up like this. <laughs> and this one, let me see, that was how many? One, two, three, four. This one, I can't remember if this is one I bought or one my daughter-in-law gave me. I think this is one she gave me. And I'll probably... Uh, it's nice and warm and it's thick and heavy too. But because of this, if I want it to keep me warm, I will probably wear a turtleneck under it. But that's kind of a different color that I'm not used to wearing. And then this is one that my daughter-in-law gave me, and it is really heavy sweater. And look how comfy that's going to be around my neck. It's long. Everything I got is long sleeved, and I and I like the ribbing. And then she gave me this one. That's a pretty color. And it's plain and long sleeve. So all of these are going to be fun to wear. <laughs> Having something new 
and uh, different. And then my daughter-in-law gave me this as a gift. And it's so wonderful to wear here at the computer. You guys don't know how cold I am all the time. It just hangs here. It's just, it don't have pockets. It's got side slits in it. And it just, it has like a roll or cowl. I don't know what you call it. Neck. No buttons or it's just something to put on to keep nice and warm and snuggly. And it is snuggly. It's really soft. So that's what I'm usually sitting here when I'm gaming. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you something else. My other son and my other son and daughter-in-law gave me this wonderful, wonderful, beautiful throw. Isn't that pretty? And the and the other side is all snuggly. That's probably, that might be wrapped around me sometimes when I'm sitting here at the computer. Otherwise, it's going to be in there on my bed. Oh. I guess I just as well show you that a really fun thing that they gave me. I'll be right back. I'm always talking about I have to buy stuffed animals for myself because my husband's, any of them always wouldn't buy me one because they thought it was childish. <laughs> but I love stuffed animals. And in my bed, I have to keep a rolled up pillow when I lay sideways to lay my arm on, otherwise it hurts my shoulder. And sometimes I have to lay a leg on my pillow because it hurts my hip. If I don't, I can't let them fall down to the bed because that pulls on my shoulder. So I'll show you what my one family got me. <laughs> Look, these legs, here's where they, here's where they touch the floor. So this big old bear is as big as me. Look how fat he is. But the thing is, I have a twin bed <laughs> and he takes up the whole bed. So I think if I try to snuggle up with him and lay my arm let my arm rest on him or my leg rest on him, we're probably going to get in an argument because I'm probably going to get on to him for hogging the bed. <laughs> but I love him and he's, and he's so wonderful. He might sit over here in my red chair all the time and keep me company. I'll set him over there now. big he is in my chair. My kids are fun. All of them. So I hope you had a really nice Christmas and, and a happy new year. Um, I didn't even hear any fireworks go off here last night. Not even any local firecrackers being popped off or anything. So maybe they just, uh, that, that was one of the things they stopped for the COVID. And uh, at least I got to go to sleep. I didn't have to lay there and wish all the noise would quit. <laughs> so today uh, I'm making this video. I don't know if I'll get another one made for anything or not, but this will be up Sunday. And uh, my son's going to come over Saturday and Sunday to do some things on my computer, clean it for one thing, and uh, help me le learn some new things on the computer, and uh, 
I also asked him if he would download Bruma for me because if I can't find some more things to do with Jory and Anigo, who just like to explore, uh, I would have to end that series and uh, everybody really seems to like it so I hate to end it as long as people are still enjoying it. So I thought I should have some other place to take them so I'll down have him download Bruma for me and then they will start going there and seeing what all Bruma is about. Uh, I don't want them to get involved in too many quests but there should be enough land that will be new to them to explore. So, and I haven't tried that yet, so maybe that will be fun. So in the meantime, I've got all my videos made for next week, this coming week. And uh, I'll have two videos up for El Mondo, Mercenary for Hire, and two videos up for Jerry in Blood Sisters. And I'll have the next chapter reading in Joseph Russell's book. And I'll have to make Jari for next Saturday. So, all right, I'll see you later, guys. Bye bye. I'm going to put my desk back down and sit down and do something useful, I hope. <laughs> bye bye, grandkids.